Hi, this is the third video in the playlist on dealing with um, harder indices. Uh, it is aimed at a, a star grade uh, a GCSE math, so it's fairly high level, um, but it'll give you some idea of how you can tackle some of these questions. Okay, so this next one is dealing with um, a, an indice which is a fraction. Okay. Um, now, in order to solve that, the easiest and best way to deal with that is actually to split it into its component parts. So what actually you've got is, is the equivalent of saying a to the power of minus 1 over n to the power of m. Okay, so what I've done is I've said, well, actually, this m over n, so m over n, is the same as saying 1 over over n multiplied by m. Okay, I hope that's come across okay on the video. Um, it should be fairly familiar to you if you've dealt with, um, with dealing with manipulating fractions, but I hope that's been okay for you. I'll give you a practical example of that. Let's say we've got something like um, 27 to the power of um, minus 2 over 3. Okay, now I'm having to look at my notes to make sure that I'm okay with this. And it's slightly different because we've got a minus sign in there, so it's going to make things a little bit tricky, but uh, I'm going to give you two examples, one with a minus sign, which is perhaps a little bit more difficult, and then with one without a minus sign, and hopefully that will be a little bit straightforward. Okay, so we've got 27 to the power of minus 2 over 3. Well, what I'm going to do is break it into its component parts. And what that's going to give me is 27 to the power of 1 third, and that's going to be multiplied by minus 2. Okay, well, 27 to the power of 1 third. If you have a look at one of the previous videos, I think it's video 1, um, that will say to you that 27 to the power of a third is exactly the same as saying the cube root of 27. And that's exactly to the power of minus 2. Well, the cube root of minus 27 is the same as um, 3, because 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. And that's still to the power of minus 2. OK. Well, again, if you look back at the previous video, when you've got to the power of minus 2, what we're going to do is make that into a reciprocal. So I've got 1 over 3 to the power of 2. 3 to the power of 2 is the same as saying 3 times 3, which is the same as saying 1 over 9. And that will answer this particular question. OK, so I appreciate there's quite a lot to take on board there, particularly because it is a negative power as well. So it does make it a little bit trickier. Um, this is um, probably a star grade, so it does take a little while to, uh, to work through. An example, perhaps, of an A grade, which is slightly lower because it doesn't have the negative part of it, will be something like this. So it's 64 to the power of 2 over 3. OK, well, I'm going to do it in exactly the same way as I've done it there, but this time I'm going to say it's 64 to the power of 1 third, and that's going to be squared. OK, well, again, 27 to the power of 1 third, or 64 to the power, 4 to the power of 1 third. We're looking for the cube root of 64, and that's going to be squared. Well, the cube root of 64 is 4, because 4 times 4 times 4 is 64, and that's going to be squared. Well, 4 squared is the same as 4 times 4, which is 16. So a little bit easier because you're not having to deal with this, this reciprocal, this negative power. But And in this particular case, it's a positive power, so it's a little bit more straightforward with it. But hopefully it'll give you an idea of the differences between questions which are a star type questions or sort of grade one type questions and then grade um, A or grade two type questions. Um, I'm going to be putting together one more video in this particular playlist which will combine quite a lot of the laws of indices. So that's going to be video 
before. Um, I hope it's been useful to you. Please do add a comment below um, or subscribe to the site and I will look forward to seeing you inside the next video.